What's going on guys, Achu here, bringing you another review on Science Fell in Love, so I try to prove it. This episode was the beach episode, we finally got it, and and of course, it did not fail. These guys were hilarious, uh, just about every one of them. We even saw one of those guys, the guy that was, I guess you could say, trying to hit on Himuro back in like episode 3 or 4, I don't remember exactly which one it was, but... He even made an appearance, but it was fun to see them all arriving and just uh, already just funny stuff with on the plane before they even get there. We see that, you know, Himaru is dying to hold uh, Yukimura and Yukimura just wants to experiment right now. And it was just funny how like when Kanade was asking questions about how the plane is able to fly, I was honestly kind of intrigued in that myself, but I wasn't really paying attention because Himuro was distracting. Like, while she was giving her explanation, she was also kind of being in La La Land, thinking about Yukimura, which was funny, but didn't help with the explanation. They finally land, and we have the girls going out and getting ready. Kanade and Yukimura looking, I mean, excuse me, Himaru and Kanade looking mwah, bomb as ever. Love them to death. They both look great. Oh, the other girls as well, Yaki, uh, Yamamoto. And I guess you could say Anna was just kind of in their... I don't even know how to say it. Like, more conservative, I guess you could say. But they still look cute. Uh, and it was funny how they were all dissing on Yukimura for being so pale uh, the, even the professor and uh, Kosuke was more tan due to them being outside a lot more but the funny part of this episode came right after the professor busted the melon uh, watermelon excuse me and he actually was very uh, powerful about it like he didn't even have to actually hit it and so from then on out the episode just goes out into a funny direction because we see that the the experiment between Yukimura and Himuru still continue on. They want to have that close contact, and Himuru has been dying to hold him, and she wanted to be all up close to him. But she didn't consider the fact that they're now in lesser clothes, so more skin will be touching, more exposure, and they're both at a loss here. And so they kind of, as they usually do, take a retreat and hold off from holding each other, and. Yukimura starts thinking, what can I do? Like, she's much hotter now. She's like two point something percent more beautiful. And I'm like, that's a little pretty low, dude. Like, she's pretty hot. And seeing how he's like frustrated and flustered, we see the others showing up, of course, typical. And then them trying to figure out what would be the best way to hold each other. And they think of all these crazy ways. And it's funny because you think about some of these positions are done but not for holding purposes of course and we see that the best way i guess the like the best hug or whatever the best embrace would be between two males and they were forcing this upon kosuke and, y and yukimura of course this is mostly for their entertainment yamamoto and Anna were just really enjoying that and things just don't pan out very well after we see that it kind of shifts over to our least are like our lesser but adorable little couple here kosuke and enna they both are having kind of like a moment here a little flashback of how they were as kids at the beach and we see that the guy who we previously seen hidden on himaru and uh, okay, yeah himaru and then kanade we see now that he's trying to go over to enna who was just kind of minding her business and kosuke actually comes like this like he's having like a real big mental like debate he's wondering should i actually go in there or should i just kind of hold off like I, knowing her she's probably po playing pokemon go i think that's what's, what it's really trying to be or should i just intervene and of course he does and this of course makes it a funny little memory we know deep down that anna really really enjoyed them i mean she was covering her face and I, I, we all know we know that she has feelings for him she just plays it off as this kind of uh, i guess a sundere kind of character so it was fun to watch but then towards the end you know we didn't get to see yukimura all in himaru 
he actually passed out of all the emotions, I suppose you could say. And they are all kind of like at the end. And we hear that the professor actually is training so much because he wants to meet the other teachers or the other professors and the other ing geniuses. And they're all having to do a presentation where they start freaking out because like we're going to present to them. So it's funny to see. We'll see where it goes, guys. But as always, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others. And I'll catch you later.